Right guys, in today's video I'm going to be comparing the performance of the latest driver 537.34 versus the previous driver 537.13. This is not going to be a flashy video, I just got up so I'm just going to give you the stats uh, and it won't be long. So first and foremost, please guys if you subscribe to my channel please head on to my homepage. If you are subscribed, please just make sure that the notification bell is selected so that when I do drop a new video, you are notified instantaneously. And then if you're not subscribed, but at the end of the video, you find this content helpful, please consider subscribing and then actually selecting that notification icon. Um, guys, the latest driver, I will put a link to this page in the description, but this is the game ready driver feedback thread. Um, in terms of the latest driver, uh, there's nothing really I can see here that has affected me uh, problem-wise, but I will link this so you can just go through it if you want to. Um, getting to the performance of the driver, straight off the bat, this driver is a disappointment. The temperatures are slightly better. You'll notice that the temperatures are on your CPU and your GPU anywhere between one to two degrees less, but with that comes less performance. So in terms of the average FPS, it's pretty stock standard. Over the 15 games that I tested, my totals uh, in terms of average FPS were 1,039. But where the, the, the drop in performance comes is actually the 1% lows. When I add up all the 15 games, 1% lows, my 1% lows for 537.34 are only 716. And you'll see when I compare this to the previous driver, 537.13, uh, my average FPS is lower, but my 1% lows are higher. So the previous driver is actually a more stable driver. Um, and also it's got better 1% lows because you can see for 537.13, the 1% lows are 722, but on the latest driver, the 1% lows are 716. So a drop in stability, latest driver is not worth it. The driver I do still recommend, especially if you're on a GTX card, is 536.40. Um, as you can see, it's got pretty high average FPS. Over the 15 games, my uh, average FPS was 1,039. And also, it's got the best 1% lows at the moment uh, for a GTX card. Um, as you can see, uh, the 1% lows over 15 games is 726. So just compare that to the previous driver, 537.13. There it's 722, so it's a drop in 1% lows. And then the latest driver, 716. So guys, my recommendation, definitely don't use the latest driver. It's pretty crummy. I wouldn't upgrade to it. Um, and then just to just to reiterate, guys, I, I do test my all my games on low settings. Uh, except for the newer games. The newer games are tested at low settings uh, because they are quite heavy on my little GTX 1650 laptop. And uh, I should have mentioned this at the beginning, but I test mainly on offline single player games because I find that my, uh, my the, the results I get are very comparable. Whereas for online games, the results are a little, a little bit all over the place. So it's difficult to compare performance apples to apples but other than that guys uh, a little bit of a disjointed video i have just gone on up i do apologize but at least there you have it don't update to the latest driver other than that guys have a fantastic day it's people like you that make a difference in this world cheers